Hi, my name is Chua Xiao An. I'm the director of Ace Chua Private Limited. We are the architects uh, serving Singapore community mostly on the communal and the social projects. Today, I'd like to share one project that we did recently is the extension for the Church of Saviour at the Margaret Drive. Church of Saviour has been growing and with the membership expanding, they approached us to do an extension for the church to cater for more spaces and more members. When we check the site, there's an existing open car park in front of the church and there's only space available for the extension. So we actually study the existing church which is supposed to be retained an extension to enhance to find out how well these two elements can be integrated together. Uh, one of the very large problems is that when we take away the car park, new car parks has to be provided to cater for the new members and also the latest much higher parking requirement by the government. Okay, so we have designed for four levels of basement car park to cater for about 127 cars for the old church members. Uh, above the church, we have a four-story extension. Uh, this four-story extension comes along with the roof terraces, which can be open to sky, used for any event function by the church member. Okay, in this project, we have a three-level high uh, central atrium as the skylight, ample of lights coming in, uh, ample of ventilation, uh, natural ventilation for the member to join. So it connects the existing church with the new extension. Above this level, we created a sky terrace. Sky terrace is very unique. We a blending requirement in Singapore that if we do a lot of landscaping, the area can be exempted from floor area calculation. So we gain extra floor area by having landscape area, which is a second level area for other members to have more intimate gathering, which they can gather after the seminar, after prayer, small group of uh, interaction. On the third level, we have a church office. Level four, we have a chapel. The church now has a big auditorium catered for 1,002 seats, but there isn't a chapel for smaller and intimate uh, events such as wedding and small talks and the guilds and so on. So the chapel serves this function very well. This is the chapel is due to the tax basis is to use a slanting line and a sloping line to create an illusion that the space is big and more uh, interesting. The very unique area in this area is that the church members participated a lot in this uh, church project. Everyone gave ideas, contribution. One of the very noted, noticeable ideas is to create a feature wall where everybody can contribute something to the church. So we organized a session for them to make create house and we hang it up on the feature wall, which is the leaf core of the church, three-story high leaf core, and it forms the shape of the cross. Uh, it's lighted up by the daylight in the daytime and at time the lighting done uh, feature also become a, a strong identity for the church. The design of this feature allows for future create house to be added on as well. So it can grow, it will the wall slowly, become more and more complete in the future. So this is what we look at it, it's a lot of emptiness, but the idea is to see that it grow and become more complete. So this church project gives us a lot of fulfillment because we work with the master, the church member who are very, very enthusiastic. We, uh, we study the site very carefully, very tight site, very uh, congested site, but we make the best out of the 